Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build this nice, small and simple starter house. So it does have a very nice design to it and it's very small and compact. I'm going to be showing you guys what it looks like on the outside and the inside before we jump into building this, just to give you guys a better idea on what it looks like from all the angles. Okay, so this is what the outside looks like. As you'll be able to see that we have a chimney. We'll have a look at the fireplace in just a moment. Just out the front here, we have got a nice deck. Small deck, but it works out quite well. On the inside here, we have got the central fireplace just sitting there. And we have got a nice high ceiling in here as well with a window up here letting in some nice natural lights. And over here, we have got the kitchen and dining area. And just down the back here behind this wall, we have got the bedroom. A nice small bedroom, but it's, it works out quite well. Okay, so that's what we're going to be building today, guys. So I'm going to show you the materials I'm going to be using for this. You guys can switch out the materials if some of these are a little bit hard for you to get. Um, but yeah, materials that I'm going to be using for this is spruce logs for the main beams. I'm going to be using some oak wood planks for the main walls. I'm going to be using some spruce fences for the, along the front here of the deck. I'm going to be using some spruce wood planks for the um, flooring on the inside. And I'm going to be using some slabs just for the stair just there. Up on top, we're gonna to be using some dark oak wood stairs for the roof, along with some birch wood stairs. And for the windows, I decided to go with the actual block um, glass, but you can use glass panes if you prefer. But hey, let's jump right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting off with this block just here, just off the front of the entrance, and I'm gonna be building that way. So make sure that you have the house face in the way that you want. But we're gonna start off by placing just down one regular old spruce wood log, we're going to add another three onto that, so one, two, three. So it should be four in total. You're going to have a gap of two, and then you're going to have one, two, three, and four. Now we're going to turn around this way, and we're going to go over another three. So this will be one, two, three. Then we're going to turn around this way, and we're going to go over another four. So one, two, three, and four. And around this side, we're going to go over another eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Around the back here, it's going to be a long one. We have to go across another 17 blocks. So this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. And then around this side, it's going to be matching what's on the other side. So again, this will be another 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then you're going to take this one along this way until it meets up just here. And then you're going to fill in that one like that. That's what you guys should have so far. Now we're going to start by laying in some floor. So for this, I'm going to be using some spruce wood planks, but if you prefer a different color for your flooring, by all means, go ahead. But we're just going to be filling in all the way from here, all of this inside in uh, the material that you choose. Okay, once you guys have laid it in your floor, that's what it should look like. And if I'm going too fast in the video at any stage, guys, just go ahead and pause the video and catch up. But uh, next up, we're going to grab our logs again, and we're going to go ahead and place one just there. One on this corner here. And then we're going to count in one, two, and three. Place it on the third one. Again, same on this side, so one on that corner, one on that corner, then one, two, and three. Okay, and then we're going to head around the back here, and we're going to go over one, two, three, and place it on the fourth like that. You're going to place one on that corner. You should have a gap of three there, and a gap of three there. Now around the back here, we're gonna meet it up with that block there. Let's go ahead and place that there. Again, a free gap. We're gonna head over to this side. We're gonna do the same thing. So count across one, two, three, and four, and place that one onto the corner, and then count in one, two, three, and four, like that. That's what you guys should have so far. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise these up by another three. So this will be one, two, and three. Like that, you're gonna to wanna to do that for every single beam. Once you have got them all up to this height, next up we're going to grab our spruce logs again. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn these ones sideways. I'm just going to take it along all of these ones in between these beams, just going all the way around the edge of the house. Okay, and once you guys have that, next up we're going to start working on the walls. So for that, I'm going to be using some oak wood planks and some glass blocks. Okay, and we're going to start off by placing three planks across the bottom there. We're going to place two glass on top of that. Okay, same with this next one. So it's going to be two planks along the bottom and glass on top. Now, if this next one will be our doorway, so we're just going to place up two planks on top. Then again, same with this one. So planks across the bottom here and glass on top of those. And next up for the sides, we're going to go ahead and just make all this side solid. So just fill in all the gaps with planks.
And same with this back wall here. We're gonna place down three across the bottom and then some glass just on top. And we're not gonna to worry too much about the fireplace just yet. So we're just gonna go ahead and fill this back wall in. And then same for this one, we're gonna have a window here. And then this side wall here will be all solid. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to start working on the roof. So we're going to be starting off with the outline color. So for me, my outline color is birch. So what we're going to do is so on the front side here, we're going to place down a stair there and one next to it. And then what we're going to do is head around the back and we're going to put an upside down stair like that. And then we're just going to keep repeating that process going up, only using stairs until we reach the top middle which you'll know when you hit the top middle when you reach this block here. Okay, once you reach that, we're gonna head over to the other side. We're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna place one there, one off the edge, and then we're gonna continue staring it up until we hit the middle. And then you're also going to need a few slabs for this as well, because we do have slabs running across the middle. All right, once you guys have that, with a single block in the middle missing, we're gonna go ahead and place an upside down stair facing that way. And then we're going to place a slab on top of that one. We're going to take that slab all the way across to the other side. Just stopping just before you reach the end there. And then you want to repeat what you did on that side, just on this side. Just make sure that you have it one hanging over the edge like this. Okay, so once you guys have that on both sides just like that, Next up, we're going to start laying the in parts of the roof. So first off, we're just going to grab our birch wood and just lay down one final layer of stairs going across this side and across the back side. And then we're going to go ahead and fill the inside in with some dark oak wood. Okay, so once you've got your dark oak stairs, don't worry too much about the front part there. I do believe it would be easier to explain after we've laid the whole thing in. So we're just going to go ahead and just fill in this whole inner bit with some dark oak stairs on both sides. Okay, after you've got the roof filled in just like that on both sides, now we're gonna start working on the front window. So we're gonna start just on this side here, just above where this is. In line with this beam, we're gonna go up one stair, two stair, and three stair. You wanna break that third stair in line with that beam there. You're gonna do the same with this beam, so up to the third one, and then you're gonna break off those two middle ones like that. You should have a four wide gap. Okay, and now you're gonna go ahead and place down one glass, two glass, three glass, and four. And then you're gonna place two in the middle like that. And now you're going to need some birch wood stairs. We're gonna go ahead and break this block next to the glass there. We're gonna place that birch, and we're gonna take it out one like that. Repeat the same on this side, so break the one right next to the glass, place, and place. And then we're gonna do the same thing for this one. So we're gonna break off that one. I'm gonna place a stair facing this way. I'm gonna take that out like that. Again, same on this side. And then we're gonna go up to the next one, break off that one, break off that one, and then break off that one and break off that one. Okay, and then you're gonna go ahead and just repeat the same thing. So place stairs going all the way down to the end down here. And same on this side. And that's what you guys should have so far. And next up, we're gonna go ahead and go inside. And we're gonna go ahead and just below our window side here, we're gonna grab some dark oak planks. And we're gonna take it all the way across this side like that until you reach the end there. You're gonna repeat the same on this side. So let's take it all the way along here to there. Next up, you're going to need some spruce wood logs again. And what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and place one there going all the way across. So just diagonal from where that birch was. You're going to cover over that birch with another layer of them going to the end. And same with this birch all the way to the end and that top one as well. Repeat the same on this side, so diagonal from that birch to the end. And then we're going to do the same on that and the one above that. Okay, and that's what you guys should have so far with that. And next up, we're going to go ahead and grab some um, dark oak wood planks again. And in line with where this beam is, I'm gonna go ahead and cover all this to the very end here on both sides with these planks.
Okay, and once you've got your roof laid down nice and smoothly like that, now we're gonna head on outside and around to either side of the house, and we're gonna go ahead and break that middle block. We're gonna raise this beam going all the way up like that. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna remove those ones, and we're gonna place these down with oak wood planks. Take it all the way up, make sure that you cover everything to make it look nice like this. Okay, and you're gonna do the exact same that you did just there on this side over here. Okay, next up we're gonna start working on the fireplace. So what we're going to do is directly straight from your door, you're gonna follow this line going across to this back wall and you're gonna break it off, both of them, even with this doorway. Okay, and you're gonna break off two more like that. And then we're gonna place a brick there and a brick there with stairs on top of those. And then we're gonna put some upside down stairs going across the top like that. Next up, just above the two middle um, stairs, we're gonna go ahead and break off those two back blocks. I'm gonna place down some solid brick like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and put some brick there, 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 and there. And then around the back here, we're gonna lay this down with some brick up along the sides like this, break off those two sides there, place down bricks, and raise that one up. And we're gonna continue to raise up this back layer all the way up until we hit the top there. Then just to blow those two stairs there, we're gonna break off those. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and place down bricks going up one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, oh, seven, sorry. And then we're gonna go ahead and place down some spruce trap doors, just around that like that. And this is the help to get that nice smoke stack coming out the top. Okay, once you got those going around it like that, we're gonna break off those two. And we're gonna put some campfires just in the middle like that. And then we're gonna drop down again and go through the front. And then we're gonna break off those two there. And we're gonna place down some bricks just there and there. And then go ahead and place your campfires just in the middle like that. Okay, next up we're gonna head back out front and we're gonna start working on this. So for this we're going to need some spruce wood fences. I'm gonna lay them just along the top of our oak wood. Okay, on both sides, just along here. And then we're gonna go ahead and place one here, raise that up by two, and another one here, up to two, and same on this side. Then off the top of this, here we want to go ahead and place down some birch wood slabs. Okay, once you guys have got that, you just want to take this out by two, going all the way along, just so it just goes above your fences until you reach the end there. Okay, next up we're going to head inside and we're going to go ahead over to this beam over here. And we're going to place down one, two, three oak wood planks. On the end of that, we're going to place down a spruce log. And we're going to raise this all the way out to the roof here. On this side, we're gonna go ahead and place down some oak wood planks just along the top of that till it reaches roof height again. Next up, we're gonna start working on some exterior. So just first off, we're gonna place down two spruce wood slabs just there for our stairs. And now off to the side here, we're gonna go ahead and put in the garden. Now I think some bamboo garden looks quite nice with the house. And I have also got some string placed on the top to stop it from growing any higher. What we're going to do is place down some trap doors just going along the sides here and meeting up with our porch like that. And we're going to place down bamboo in every slot like that and you're going to go ahead and bone mill it once. Do that for all of them and then you're going to go ahead and place down some string along the top of them like that. Do the same on this side. So again, just trap doors going across and until it meets up with that corner there, bamboo that's a message and you're gonna go ahead and bone mill the bamboo and string across the top and then you're going to go ahead and need some leaves so it doesn't particularly matter what leaves you use necessarily I'm gonna be using some oak leaves okay just along the front here we're gonna place down some leaves same with this side here and then we're gonna pop around this side and we're gonna run leaves going all the way across here <clears throat> around the back until we meet up with our fireplace there. Repeat the same on this next side. It's all the way around this corner to the front, just there. Okay, next up we're gonna work on these hanging garden beds on the side of the house. So for this, you're just going to need some dirt and place it there and there. And same on this side, just like that. And then you're gonna go ahead and place down some trap doors 
on all sides of this. And same with this one. And then we're going to go ahead and place down some more dirt across the top there. And repeat the same thing. Then you're going to go ahead and pick your favorite flowers. So it doesn't necessarily matter what flowers you use, just pick out a couple that you like. So I'm just going to be placing down some blue orchids, some that, some red tulips, and a white tulip. Okay, and you should have a nice garden like that. Now you're going to repeat exactly what you did just there, but on the other side of the house here. So once you guys have placed your garden beds on both sides of the house, then you're all good. That is the main house done. Now for the furnishing. Instead of me doing a block by block tutorial on furnishing, I'm just going to run through the actual furnishing that I have done in here very slowly. So just over this side here, I have got some upside down stair there, a slab and an upside down stair, just some flower pots on top. And then I have got some trap doors going across here, which I have got some decoration items on like that. On this wall, I have got my beds just there, and I have got some um, stripped logs on both sides with some mad rods on top of those to look like lamps. I have got a mat going across the bottom there. In the main living space here, I have got some bookshelves on this side with trap doors running up the sides and the top. Just in the middle of the room here, just across from our fireplace, we have got a jungle wood um, stair chair. I have got some carpet just sitting there for a little nice rug. Over the side of this kitchen, we have got down a fridge, a tabletop, a sink, and some more tabletops going across like that. The tabletops are just upside down polished andesite. And this is just a regular concrete block with a, tra a burnt trapdoor in front to look like a dishwasher. We have got a mat in the middle. And on this side, I have got a trapdoor table like that with just some stairs on the front. And I have got a main central picture just above our fireplace to give it that bit of a larger sort of feeling. And that is the house, guys. So I really hope that this tutorial has helped you. If it did, then don't forget to drop a like on the video. It'd be very, very much appreciated, guys. And if you guys want to see more tutorials like this, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That would also be very, very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you again so much for watching. If you guys have had any problems or questions about this build, then let me know in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. But hey, thanks again so much for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.